Surrogate motherhood is something that not many people actually support, even though it is one of the many reproductive techniques that have enabled infertile couples to have children. There is a lot of pressure from the society to a married couple when they can't have a child, and surrogate mothers do an amazing part in solving their problems. However, surrogate mothers too have their own side in these situations. Five years of married life, you guys still haven't made a child. Anything wrong with you? We have done everything. Nothing works. Isn't it embarrassing not have a child? My, you, you guys might be cursed. Just mind your own mistress. We are already stressed out. Look, I know we have done everything, but there is one last option. No matter how much it costs, let's have a child. Sorry, guys. This way, you have a baby in nine. It's guaranteed. Come in, Han. Hi, nice to meet you. This will be your surrogate mother that you've chosen. Everything will be fine, don't worry. Uh, nice to meet Hi, how are you? What's your name? Uh, Anne Samus. Yeah. How old are you? 25 years old. Yeah. How do you feel? Uh, I'm a first year surrogate mother. You have no idea how hard it is for me. They took my child. I kept her inside for me for almost nine months. I, I took care of it all the time. And I am even capable of breastfeeding her. It's my child. I want her. In this type of a situation, explaining that child has does not legally and genetically belong to this woman is tough. Though it's tough explanation is important, explaining to her that giving a child to a couple that has been depressed for years without a child is a great deed that she had done. It's important explaining to her that one day she will have her own child and things will be much better. Maybe advise her to have her own child if her background is settled. Advise her guardians to make sure she visits all her therapy sessions and all to be by her side and not make her feel lonely. And also explain to her that she should not repeat this until she is actually ready for or not at all. Explain to her that she is not alone and that she can get over it. Surrogate mothers have to go through so many problems and face very stressful situations at times and it is absolutely important that we support and respect these women. Um, here is the mother you've requested for. Now everything will be okay. Ellie, come in! Hi, Ellie. Hi. This is your surrogate mother that you've chosen. You can fix them. I'm sorry to say, guys, but there's some bad news here. According to your CBS results, your child is having a genetically inherited disease and it might cause in future a Down syndrome. I'm sorry. What? This can't be our child. We are not having it. It will ruin our reputation. It's our child. Shut up, come in. I told you when you told me about this. It's not about the money. You have to think twice about the risks. 
What am I supposed to do now, Charlotte? You know, I can't take the responsibility of this child. What about an abortion? It's not an option. It's against my religion. I'll go to hell. The best thing we can do right now is go to the doctor. Okay, let's go. Hi, what brings you back here to me? Is everything all right? Oh, doctor, nothing's okay. I can't afford to have this child. I'm not stable, and I can't even abort the child because it's against my religion. Okay, I understand, but these type of cases are common and very hard to solve. The best thing to do is to be informative about the options that are available for these type of patients. The first one is to abort the baby, abort the baby, which is completely against to her religion, like she said before. And the second one is to have the baby and give the baby up for uh, adoption. And the third one is to place the baby into a baby box, uh, which hides the identity of the patient. And I can assure you that. And a special agency will look after the baby. And the third, and the fourth, sorry, and the fourth and the last one is to have the baby and look it after yourself. You know, you guys know that every lives matter, right? All children mothers must be respected, protected, and valued. As a doctor, all human lives matter. It is our duty to give the best options, advices, and care to save each and every life. As we are the soldiers that save the world, not by using a gun, but by wearing a stethoscope.